it took home prices six years to go from peak in 2006 to 2012. That's six years. In multifamily, almost all the discounting is just a single year because of something called rate caps and how they work. I feel like we've been through the denial, numbness, and shock. That's kind of behind us. Now it's kind of like we're in the bargaining stage of like, can I negotiate with the banks? Can I negotiate with my, my investors to raise the capital? And we're entering into the depression and anger stage in 2023. My question becomes, is the, you know, the first quarter, is that the first part? And then acceptance is finally the third quarter of 2024. But what do you think of that analogy with the five seasons of grief? I think to some level, acceptance has already started, right? So what we are seeing is acceptance is starting on the properties where the banks started ringing the alarm bells in Q1. Well, now in Q4, acceptance happens because they've tried everything. They've tried raising money from their investors. They've tried, you know, getting pref equity. They've, they've done all of those sorts of things. So what's really happening is that the acceptance phase is starting on a small percentage of properties now. And every quarter for the next four quarters, which is Q1, Q2, Q3, and Q4 of next year, more and more properties will reach the acceptance phase where sales have to happen simply because the banks are running out of patience. The banks are saying, I'm sorry, we gave you six months. You said you would raise money from pref equity. You said you would try you know, cash calls. You did this, you did that. Nothing's worked out. We still have amazingly high interest rates. You've, you've gone through your, all of your operating reserves. You're now at the point where your property is just ble bleeding 40, 50, $60,000 a month. You need to put it on the market. Otherwise, we are going to come and repossess the property. There, more and more of those conversations are happening now than they were five, six months ago. And so this cascades because all of 2024 is distress for multifamily. All of 2024 is discounts in the 40% range. And then those discounts abruptly vanish at the end of 2024. So this is the most key message. It took home prices six years to go from peak in 2006 to 2012. That's six years. In multifamily, almost all the discounting is just a single year because of something called rate caps and how they work. Right. And, and that makes perfect sense. And by the way, you can learn more about Neil Baba by going to growcapitalist.com. So yeah, you, your point is acceptance is already happening. The question becomes, at what stage are these rate caps expired? Like, when did you buy, right? And obviously, how 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 much leverage did you take? How much did you overpay? So it's going to come in certain tranches as people had bought yes. at different times, at different loans, different rate locks, a little bit different. But 2024, I believe, is the best buying opportunity we've seen in 10 years. If you're well positioned, if you're well capitalized, if you can sign on the debt, if you're working with experts like in Neil Bawa, who who find and know uh, how to underwrite properly, how to manage properly, how to build, how to execute, how to manage.